Welcome on in. It's time for another edition of Friday Night Lights. The Seabulls entered Friday night in first place in the Eastern League Southwest, but riding a three-game losing streak, could Erie get well and avoid a series loss to last place Bowie? That was the question going into the fourth game of the six-game home set. Sawyer Gibson Long starting for the Howlers against the Bay Sox. 3-0 Bowie in the second. Erie responds with Jake Holton on base. Diego Rincones racks up a two-run home run to left center field. 3-2 Bowie with Rincones hitting his second homer of the year. Next inning, Andrew Navigato doubles to extend his hitting streak to 13 games for number 13. Same frame, catcher Dylan Dingler connects on the RBI double. His seventh of the year. That plates Navigato. We're tied at three. Still in the third. Holton, line drive single up the middle. That'll score Dingler. Erie grabs a 4-3 lead after trailing by three runs. In the sixth, however, Zach Watson hits his sixth home run of the season. And Bowie grabs a 5-4 lead on the two-run blast. Gibson Long gives up six hits, five earned runs, walks two and struck out eight and five and two-thirds. In the seventh, Shane Fontana with a two-run double, 7-4 Bay Sox at this point. Erie would get a late run from Colt Keith on a solo shot in the eighth, but it's not enough in the end on the Plyler Entry System scoreboard. The Seabulls fall 7-5 to Bowie for a fourth straight loss. Colt Keith, 2-4, for four, the solo shot in the eighth. Diego Rincon is a two-run shot, 2-4 two for four at the plate as well. Same two teams on Saturday. And don't forget, first 1,000 fans through the gates at the ballpark on Saturday for the 6.05 p.m. first pitch. Get one of these free beach bag coolers. Again, first pitch, 6.05 on Saturday, game five of the six-game homestand. Major League Baseball action we go. Pirates home for the Mets. Bottom of the third, tied at two, bases loaded. Key Brian Hayes knocks one of the outfield for a single. Two-run score, Bucks lead 4-2. to two. In the fourth, now 8-2 Pittsburgh. And Hayes doubles down the line to the wall. Two more runs score, four RBI on the day. And the Bucks with a 10-2 lead at that point in the eighth. And Santana. It's the Bucks leading 12-2. Carlos Santana crushes one out off Tommy Hunter, his fourth of the year. Next batter, Jack Sawinski, deep and gone. Bucks win it 14-7 after leading it by 12 runs late. Guardians and Astros pick it up tied at nine in the 14th inning. And here comes Cleveland, the chance to walk it off and win it. Will Brennan doubling to left. He'll score Tyler Freeman and the Guardians. Get it done in a marathon game at home, walking it off against the Astros on the Plyler Entry System scoreboard. It's 10-9. Cleveland walking off Houston in 14 innings. What drama. Tigers and Diamondbacks, we go here in the first. No score. Corbin Carroll driving a solo shot off Michael Lorenzen for his 12th home run of the year. Diamondbacks take the early 1-0 lead. In the seventh game tied at two, Arizona bats flying. Emmanuel Rivera with a double. To the wall off Lorenzen. Christian Walker scores. Couple batters later, Jake McCarthy singles to left off Lorenzen. That drives in another. Backs up 4 2. D backs that is still in the seventh. 5 2 bases loaded. Carroll takes the Will Vest pitch deep for a grand slam. Not Detroit's night. 11 6. Diamondbacks get the win over the Tigers. In high school baseball, Cathedral Prep wrapped up its season in the PAA Class 4 a state quarterfinal round. The Ramblers fell 4-2 to Hopewell in the state Elite 8 round on Thursday to finish the year 22-2 overall. Prep knocked off three defending state champions throughout their season and won the District 10 championship en route to their finish for the 23 campaign. Coach Josh Constable says there's still plenty to celebrate, though, from the Ramblers' state playoff run. One game isn't going to decide this team this season or our program. Um, the team of 2023 battled hard. They fought, and um, they left a really good mark on the program. Um, we accomplished a lot of great wins and successes. We set a lot of new marks, and um, this season will be a great success for us, and this game won't define us, and we'll be in a good place. No matter what happened throughout this year, we had a lot of fun. We had a, we had a lot of uh, good times together. We'll remember this team. Um, they taught me how to compete. They taught me what, what teenagers this era need. And uh, we'll grow from it, we'll come back and uh, um, certainly learn from it. And we'll celebrate these guys and their season. It's a lot to be thankful for. Meanwhile, Fairview's season came to an end in the PIAA Class 3A state quarterfinal round with the 9-3 loss to unbeaten Riverside on Thursday. The Tigers won District 10 and rode a 14-game winning streak into the state Elite 8 round. 
The Tigers topped Northeast for the District 10 championship this year before grinding out a 3-1 win over East Allegheny to get to them, or to get them to that point, I should say, in the tournament. Coach Joe Spinelli is encouraged by what his team learned from this spring season, thanking the seniors for their contributions while looking ahead to what's next for the returners. Just told them be proud. Great season. Did a lot of wonderful things. Uh, Walk out here with your heads up high, and uh, you know, let's let's try to build on this for next year. Our seniors did a real nice job. Uh, they made, you know, they had some big performances for us during the season, help us get where we were. I'm hoping that there's carryover from those seniors to our younger guys, and you know, we can we can you know continue to get better and, and do things uh, next year. We got six starters back, so I think we got a good core. Now we got to try to take the next step. Kent Play Boys Volleyball State Quarterfinals in Class 2A set for Saturday. Mercyhurst Prep facing Mannheim Central. That's a 1 p.m. start at Richland High School. Cochranton meets West Shemokin at Peters Township at 12.30 p.m. In men's soccer, NPSL action on Friday night on the pitch. Steel City FC defeating the Erie Commodores by a final of 2-1. Erie falling by a goal. Thomas Binkowski with the Commodores' lone tally on Friday night. Still to come.